Okay. The Nine of Swords reversed. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I think I did that myself, but the tower. Okay, I need another card for the tower. So we got two major arcana, the fool in the tower. To you it's in reverse, but I'm seeing it upright. Okay. So Sagittarians are something you're not seeing. You've been so blissful and so happy and so ignorant in a bad way. Um, or I guess a nice way. You're not ignorant as in racist or something of that nature. But all the while something's been going on and you've been having your back to it. You haven't wanted to confront it, but I feel like you're on the verge of it. Or you just haven't noticed it's a nightmare yet. You haven't woken up and seen it. But the tower will come in um, about this. I would like to see it in this way. So you guys, maybe it is in reverse, but I'm seeing it this way. Okay. And earlier, what came out, which has not come out yet, is was the sun reversed. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups reversed. Let me turn this down a little. So, to me, this indicates an affair or somebody who does not want to get together or work together. But to you, everything was working fine. You were all happy and good. And I would look at your comments, but I can't. Not right now, anyway. So I want to clarify some things. We have three major arcana, so something pretty big. Make sure I have it in the right spot, yeah. Alright, so why is the Fool here for Sagittarius? You may be dealing with a Pisces, but that's only a possibility. Okay, it came out in the reverse. I thought this card was going to come out when I said, um, not working together, Three of Cups reversed. Because you have the Three of Pentacles reversed. And these are all upright. I mean, I double checked. I look at the bottom of the deck just to make sure. So somebody's not reaching out. Somebody's not working together. Three of Pentacles reversed. Also, to me, this is another sign of an affair. For some people, this could be about work, just not working with your coworkers. But you haven't yet realized how bad the situation is, if you have a hint of it. I just feel like it's being obscured from you. But I feel like the tower is going to come in. And yes, it's going to feel pretty dramatic, but it's actually for your good because you're just not seeing it. There may be somebody that you don't need to reach out to or you're not reaching out for help. You're just not aware. Because Three of Pentacles is somebody in the spotlight, but in reverse, it's not in the spotlight. And that could also be why this, I saw the sun reversed earlier. Which, technically, if you think about a sun reverse, it's kind of like the moon, in a way. Like the opposite. Okay, now this one wanted to come out in reverse, too. But it popped out in the upright. Yeah, I've got them all in the right position. This is creepy. Okay. So, Seven of Cups is being confused, not seeing something. Um, being a little daydreamy like the fool. But in reverse, it says coming to reality. So I do think eventually you'll come to reality about this situation. This was like an overall. I didn't pick a particular card. And Seven of Cups is a temptation card, which makes me think somebody has lots of options. And you're not aware that you have to compete with somebody or others in general. Why is the Five of Wands here? Wait, I'm just going to let it pop. That way I can't get in trouble for what pops out. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, this is the tower reversed. You were trying to avoid some kind of a disaster. And we have rebuild and reverse, right? And this is the building a foundation card. The Three of Pentacles. And it's not being built. So maybe somebody promised that they weren't going to be that way again 
or you'd be able to rebuild something together, but then it just didn't happen. Um, tower, oh, sorry, tower reversed tells me that the innocent really get hurt in this situation, and the person responsible gets away with it. But don't worry, that tower's turning right side up, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> it's coming. It's for your good. Okay, so don't don't fear the tower. Okay, well, the nine of swords reversed here. So I like the nine of swords because not only are you not seen or facing up to something, but with the in reverse, you're going to see it. It hints. It's like it foreshadows that you're going to see. And then the tower sometimes is a revelation. It's an insight. Okay. You may be dealing with a cancer. Uh, but this is the chariot card. It says move. I was wondering about if this was going to be about a move for some of you guys. Because we had the tower, and that can hint at relocation, moving houses. And we had the three of pentacles. But I was waiting for this card to come out, <laughs> which is the chariot. And that's what the nine of swords is about. <sighs> And it's right stuck between two towers. I know you can't really see it, but um, it's making me think that you're relocating. But there's something about the relocation. It may be you may be relocating because you were living with somebody and not getting along. So, for instance, if this was a roommate. You may move out because you're not getting along. If this is a partner, whether married or not, I feel like you'd be moving out because they were deceitful. Or just it was a bad relationship. You were always fighting. But the cards are advising you to keep your balance with the situation. Yeah, it's, it's not very fun. So we have another seven card. And keep moving forward is what I'm seeing because this tells me you still have direction. You still have somewhere to go. What does this say? Yeah, move. It's like keep moving. But also I think you are going to move. Okay. I want to see what comes out on the other side and move the tower. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You guys, I can't read all those cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't even get to, get to finish answering my question. Okay. I just saw the Nine of Cups reverse, but I turned it upright when I put it in the deck because they're all supposed to be upright. So you have a shot. Okay. I said it in my head. I didn't say it out loud. We have the Fool again, which is the Tower. So you're getting a new beginning. You're having to let go completely of your old way of life, your old cycle, old relationship, job, whatever it is, your old house, and start completely over again. But this time, I mean, the, the tower's coming in because you were a little bit naive is what I've seen, not foolish, okay? Um, and the situation's calling for you to trust that this tower situation needed to happen, okay? It's not some kind of a punishment. And that you're basically starting over again. And it's, it's a good thing. I think you're starting over if it's a job, you're starting over if it's a relationship, a house. Some of you may actually be traveling because the Fool can be a traveling card. I had a feeling this was going to come because I thought I saw it. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, but otherwise it's just releasing the past, releasing the old. Um, so if you're dealing with a Pisces, you have water signs in here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, <laughs> pretty much. Those are the people you're dealing with. One could be, you know, unfaithful with from um, with you, to you. Yeah, unfaithful to you. With one of these other signs. Um, could be co-workers. But I feel like whatever may hurt you, you're going to come out of it pretty easily. Um but I do feel like there's a whole new identity coming for you. You're just going to release it and move on um, because you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Um, this is actually all still for the tower, sorry. Uh, two of Cups. you got more coming in. It says coming together. So you have to release something in order for something else to come in. 
Um, and then some of you, just an odd shoot off, because I know there's a few people who are going to be watching this. <laughs> a few, just a couple. Um, some of you are asking your partner, possibly a Scorpio, to release someone else so you guys can come together. Okay? However, I do feel like there is a breakup coming. It's imminent. Um, you've been trying to stave it off. I think you've been working really hard at it. And you've been kind of pretending like it's, like it's working uh, when it's really not. Is that Three of Pentacles reversed? And you just haven't wanted to face it. I don't understand. That's, that can be very tough. And the thing is... They may have been unfaithful. This could be you as well, okay? But there's not a whole lot in here about that. And so while I do think some people are facing that, some of you are just facing it. The others of you, well, I'm not saying you're facing it. It's coming up for you, or it's happening now, or it's happened but you haven't found out yet. Others of you, it's more like they're contemplating being unfaithful. Or it's an emotional affair, especially with this moon over here. And if you've been fighting, they may be confiding in somebody else. And they're coming together with someone else. Let's see what this moon's about. What is this moon for? I'm, I'm surprised it's coming after the tower. You know? I do feel like this is telling you it's a rite of passage. You just had to go through it. Okay, that wanted to come out. Eight of Pentacles. This is dedicated effort. <laughs> and the thing that I, I think is hilarious is you guys got this before, so I'm thinking it's going to come up again, okay? Some of you just aren't able to let go of this relationship quite yet. Hey, no, no judgment. I'm just, I just say, I said it's hilarious, but it's not. I'm just saying because it's coming up again. Some of you guys are going to try and make this work again. Dedicated effort. Eight of Pentacles working hard and being committed. And so here, with the tower not being rebuilt um, in reverse, well, here, technically that'd be rebuilt upright. And so I think you're going to try and fix this. <laughs> um... But the thing is, it's going to take both parties. And so that's probably why you're having to come together. And when, when I saw the sun in reverse, and then I have the moon in here, both of those cards talk about the need to move on. And I do see somebody needing to move on. And that in itself may take some dedicated effort for those of you who aren't planning to make it work. That just moving on in itself. Also kind of, I don't know, I feel like somebody's over and over again trying to keep themselves in an illusion. I just want to get another clarifier. Because to me, Eight of Pentacles is over and over again. I just feel like there's a lot of secrets. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I say that, and then Four of Pentacles comes up, which is the secret card, especially with the moon in here. Um, somebody's trying hard to keep an illusion going, or they're trying hard to keep a secret in order to keep a relationship going. But uh, what I'm really seeing here is it, it needs to be over. Why do you guys keep getting this reading? But the advice is open up. So talk to them about it. Because normally Four of Pentacles is closed off. However, this may not be you. This may be the person you're with because I have given readings to Scorpios where their advice is to open up. Um, see, four of, oh, sorry, four of Pentacles is holding on to an expired relationship. <laughs> and here this, this says release. So, Sagittarians, whoever, whomever you are with, I'm not seeing it's abusive or anything. I'm just seeing it's not right, whatever it is. So your advice is to release and let go. 
And it could be because this person's just holding, they're very secretive and they hold secrets. Um, they keep things from you. And your advice is to kind of let them go because they're like that. They may open up to you, but it's not happening right now. Um, however, because the moon is right next to the tower, it could be the illusion, uh, the secret, the mental illness, whatever it might be with the moon here, drugs. That might be like the revelation you get. It just happens to be after the tower um, because it helps to clarify it, even though I didn't pull it as a clarifier. And especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, because that card was down over here, and their advice was to open up about something, and that's where the Four of Pentacles came out at. They may have to open up about something like that. On the bottom of the deck, we have Manifest, the Magician. So you can make all this happen. You can rebuild. You can, you can make this person happen, but I feel like there is some manipulation going on. Because that's the, it's the image of the Magician, even though he's not reversed. Um, he just manipulates things. And you see, he's kind of making a heart. So you're trying to make love happen, but uh, I'm not saying you guys don't love each other. See, to me, this is all about people who, who are in the relationship. I don't have anything for single sages. Although I think you're going to be single pretty soon, so. Uh, but you may give it one last go. However, I think it's just an illusion that you can keep it going as well. Especially if this person does have an issue, you may not be able to help them. I want to lay out some Lenormand cards for you. Yeah. See what we get. It's my little bluebird deck. I got it at a store the other day, and I really like it. And it has little poems that rhyme, and it's fortune telling, so some of it depends on where the cards are. I don't really know it well enough to do that yet. <laughs> I just look and see what they mean when you have them together as best as I can because it is still new to me. But I like the poems and the fact that it can be more um, used for prediction. And these, of course, they don't have anything to do with right side up or inverse. I think I'm just going to do about five cards. Now here, if we get a gentleman or a lady, it's going to be for either gender, just because there's lots of people. Okay, so we have birds. I like birds. Um, it goes with the Seven of Swords, so again, there's there's different meanings. Yep, ah, snake. You know, in my reading I did yesterday, Scorpio's got that, and then it was right next to Sagittarians, and I said, Scorps and Sagittarians, you know, one of you is the snake for each other. So, I'm not sure who's who, but it's coming out, you guys. And we have the Queen of Wands in there and the snake. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not saying it's you, Sag. I'm just saying it has to do with you. Mice. Yeah, these are um, thieves, robbers. Not necessarily literally, but could be. And you know what snakes eat. They eat mice. They also eat birds, too. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. This is crazy. Okay. Dare I get two more, guys? <laughs> uh, the birth is pretty nice, but it can depend on other cards. So I really feel like you need to fly above the situation. That one wanted to come out. Garden. Okay. Let's see here. There's a snake in your garden, guys. Or you're the snake, one of the two. I'm not going to say it's one or the other, because different people... Oh, you guys got an extra card. Fox and key. So you know foxes are sly, right? And then the key is something that's destined. So again, I see that rider passage I was talking about. 
So we don't have a lady or a gentleman, unless it's on the bottom. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to have to guess the snake is going to be your card, okay? And the only reason I'm saying that is because we have the queen of wands here, and that's a fire sign. I would normally see that as a Sagittarius woman, um, or just in general. Okay, so with the birds, it is the Seven of Swords whenever you look at the playing card, okay? Birds bring a message full of cheer. This card falls distant. All is not clear. Whatever the outcome, remain without fear. Woes will be brief when the birds disappear. Okay. So, whatever is going to be bad, I see you gain over it quickly, like I said earlier, okay? All right. And it is, to me, it's next to you, just because of that card. We have the snake. Vile is the serpent who lulls with a bite. Be not indulgent or slow to the fight. Flee every moment she turns on the charm. This poised opponent will bring you to harm. Okay. Next one is mice. The robber mice take your treasure. Inside the house they steal with pleasure. Hope's not foregone when this card is near. Once the mice are gone, you regain what is dear. Okay, so both these animal cards next to the snake say if it's near you, then everything's good. It'll turn back good once everything leaves, once the birds leave and once the mice leave. And it is next to you on either side. So there's something that has to go for you to be happy. And I'm thinking it's whatever the past is. It might be, well, the Scorpio versus whichever you lease. It might be anybody else. It may be the other person, uh, whatever's going on there. But for, for now, there's a snake in your garden. Okay. The gardens entreat to a party you'll go. New friends will arrive and romance may flow. Life's to be enjoyed with nature all around. In this verdant setting, beauty and peace abound. Okay, I like that one. Okay. So that must be the peace after the storm. Then we have the fox. The fox is sly, a friend is too. Oh, this might be an inside job, guys. Someone may try to deceive you. With wily glances, the ren I think it's renard, some French word, the renard snaps. Evade deception and beware old traps. So you may get rid of these people and you have peace in the garden. You go and you go to a concert, a wedding, um, parties, you meet somebody, and um, <laughs> you, there's potential there. You have, you have peace of mind. And then they may try to come back, slither in like a fox instead of a snake. But then the last one is key. Inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight are easy to trace. Once the final piece tumbles into place. I'm going to see what your advice is. To me, birds could also be gossip, okay? Especially if they're seven of swords. So there may be some gossip around you. Um, but I, I think the gossip may um, have some truth to it, okay? If somebody's trying to steal your joy, not, I don't think it's a literal stealing. Um, and I do feel like you needed to defend yourself. We have, wow, we have three sevens with that snake, the bird, and the mice. We have, it says 12, but it's a seven of swords. We have snake, which is seven. And then we have the mice, which is seven of wands. And that's being defensive. It's also having lots of things come at you at once, whether it's rumors, offers. Um, and just competitors. And then that seven as the snake could correspond to the seven as the chariot in our tarot cards, which could be this, the, the, the cancer perhaps is the snake in your garden. Let's see what your advice is. I want to know what this key is about. 
high priestess. So yeah, possibly mistress, but also just a holding back. I feel the need for you to be calm in a situation, which I did see with the chariot earlier. So I do see the nine of cups in the reverse again. Somebody's being selfish, but I'm also seeing that somebody doesn't have as many options as they think they have. So I'm not sure if somebody's trying to hold that over your head. But also, I don't think you're sure of yourself anymore, like you were when you were the fool. That's too many cards, guys. <laughs> I just, oh, that's too many cards. Let's get some advice for you. I think you should be more selfish and think about yourself um, as well. Um, also feel the need to be um, sober and vigilant. Yep. And I do think you're moving. I think you're going to move. You're going to find that house you want. You're going to be able to work together and see eye to eye with someone. But it's going to happen after the birds and the mice leave. However, there is somebody who wants to do you harm. Now, who that is, whether it's your partner, an outside party, you know, that's going to be up to the individual. But I do see you need to work together. Um, and I, f I feel like you're moving. All right, let's see. I'm going to do one reading and then I'm going to have to go because my quiche, I do not wish for it to burn. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius, so I hope you're happy. All right. Yes, Pisces could have been in there, Lala, because we had the moon. I like to think of these readings as not being in the past, um, as if they're present or coming up for you. All right, um, Moody Blue, what is your um, question? Um, I'm only doing Sagittarian tonight, and then I'm doing one personal. Sagittarians, this is their monthly December, and then I'm doing one personal for someone. And it was Moody Blue. So Moody Blue, give me... Um, I'm guessing you're a Cancer. <laughs> give me your sign, uh, the question. If there's another person, give me their sign too. I, mean, I grew up in Memphis, so I think it's a cool name too. Just Moody Blues. <laughs> Will your relationship change soon? Okay. Do you have their sign and... Possibly, if you're not a Cancer, what your sign is. Cancer and Gemini. Oh, break my heart, Moody Blues. <laughs> okay. All right. See, I don't know by now. I don't think water signs and air signs go together. But <laughs> um, no judgment. I'm just being silly. All right. So let's see what we can get for. Oh, you're rising to Gemini? Okay. That makes it work a little better. Um, see, I think I have one air sign, and it's my moon. I'm a Libra. My sun sign is Cancer. Okay, so Cancer, Gemini, will your relationship change soon? glad I put my quiche on a low setting. Mm. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a big change. You're going to be king of cups in reverse here, unless he has Scorpio or another water sign in his chart very prominently. Um, but I feel like you feel very defensive. Um... Kind of overwhelmed emotionally 
and <laughs> it's it's coming it's coming to a change. Um, we don't have a whole lot of cards indicating, or we don't have matching cards that indicate breakup. But if I were just talking about a relationship and I saw the tower, I'm seeing a big transformative, uh, transformative change. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> of course, those mean the same thing. But I want to get another card on the other side of the tower to see what's coming up. But King of Cups reversed. No bueno. Um, all right, so there may be a change in perspective of what's going on. It, the tower can be an end. Um, I think somebody's going to get a new perspective on the situation. And to me, this is a separation that's delayed. So you're either going to break up temporarily or you don't break up. However, you may um, decide to forgive this person. And that's why it's a temporary breakup. Um, but again, I'm seeing kind of a limbo here. So if it's a breakup, it's short term or it's delayed. But there's something, some kind of a perspective that somebody needs to see. And it's coming. In fact, it may hit you all at once. <laughs> um, and it could just turn you upside down. Um, I mean, it could very well make you feel depressed with that King of Cups reversed, but you'll come out of it. Um, I do want to caution you on not going back to somebody just because, you know, of being alone or sad, okay? Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Swords. So we have Seven of Swords and Seven of Wands, um, which makes me think there may be some kind of misinformation and everybody's trying to come at you at once. Again, there is something you're not sure of, and that's because somebody's being sneaky. Or somebody may come back to you, <laughs> like sneakily. They may just sneak their way back in. Um, I do want to get some clarifications. Um... If there's a third party, okay, in the situation, you may still end up being broken up in a more permanent way. This may just be you taking yourself out of that third party situation. <laughs> and this is you leaving with your integrity. And that Seven of Wands could be that person having lots of people. And I don't, I don't like to see King of Cups for you because you're not a man. In personal readings, the gender applies. Um, so he has to have water somewhere in his chart that is really, possibly even his Venus sign. Uh, this tells me a pers uh, promiscuous man, really. But... I have to go with what I know, so. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, this came out in reverse, and it's not even supposed to, so it must have flipped. Eight of Swords reversed. Yeah, I f yeah, you're going to get out. You're going to see this person for who they truly are. You're not going to be that victim anymore. You're going to take yourself out. Because you may know something right now, but I feel like there is something else that you don't know, okay? I don't know what it is. <laughs> But you're going to be taken out of it. And we have Seven of Swords and Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords reverse. Let's go back to Seven of Swords, which we have. So if, if you're in doubt, this to me is their true nature. And I just saw this when I picked that Eight of Pentacles reversed, which is saying not putting in the effort anymore. Um, I feel like you are going to walk away. And you're just removing yourself from heartbreak um, in any other third-party situations. the King of Cups reversed here. Ooh, 
Ooh. All right, so we have love. Um, could be dealing with another Gemini, but there is definitely a love triangle going on. Um, and that's why this person's reversed. They're promiscuous and... Yeah. Sorry. I hate to say that to another Cancer, but that's what's going on. And I think it, it could affect you still emotionally, obviously, even though that's a male. It may be that he's wanting somebody on a more permanent basis who's not you. And honestly, if if you just go ahead and, you know, leave, you kind of leave with all your swords, and you only leave two swords as opposed to all of the swords. You know what I mean? You kind of cut your losses and go. Yeah, we have Ace of Wands. That's my affair card. If you add it to the Seven of Wands, that's Eight of Wands. And I feel like you need to get out of there fast, pretty much. As well as the tower is going to hit you pretty hard. But there is new vitality. You will have this new life after it happens. Um, I really don't want you hanging around, okay? <laughs> um, yeah. 